Hi, and welcome to another Ventus Quick Tip. In this video, we will be showing a simple workflow example used to export 3D geometry from Blender for use in Ventus Designer. Now let's get started. For this example, we'll be using a snowman model that we had prepared ahead of time as part of our Ventus Holiday Snow Globe project. We will need to start by opening the snowman project, which is a native Blender file type. However, you could perform the same workflow using a variety of 3D file formats. Now that we've got the model open and set up the way that we would like in Blender, it's time to export the model for use in Ventus. We will be exporting the model in the GLTF format, which is recommended for use in Ventus. This format will allow you to export full 3D scenes, including meshes, materials, cameras, simple animation data, and skinned character meshes. To export the file as GLTF, you will need to navigate to the file menu in Blender, select export, and then GLTF 2.0 from a drop-down menu. Now, before we're ready to export the model, there are a few options we need to configure first. First, we need to make sure that the correct format is selected. For this, we will need to make sure that we select the format GLTF embedded. Next, you will need to open the geometry dropdown and make sure apply modifiers, UVs, normals, and vertex colors are all selected. If you have animation data in your scene, you will also need to ensure that data is exported by selecting the options in the animation dropdown. Once the export settings are configured, type in a file name, choose a save location, and then click the blue Export GLTF 2.0 button. And that's it. Obviously, there are a lot more steps required for creating the model in the first place. However, we won't be exploring that topic in this video. Now that we've got our geometry in a format that Ventus likes, it's time to import the model into our Ventus scene. For this example, we'll be working with an empty Ventus scene to keep things super simple. However, this workflow applies to all Ventus scenes. There are two different ways we can load our geometry in Ventus. The first one is to simply drag and drop the 3D asset that we had created earlier in Blender into either the Layers or Hierarchy Editor. After the model has been added, you will notice that Ventus has created a new hierarchy for this 3D asset. This hierarchy is a visual representation of the different components that make up the GLTF file that we exported from Blender earlier. Now I'm going to delete this hierarchy so that I can show you the second method for adding 3D geometry to Ventus. The second way we can get geometry into Ventus is to add a geometry import node to our hierarchy editor and then search for the asset on our machine. And that's it. As long as the model has been prepared nicely ahead of time and exported in a supported format, the Ventus import process should be relatively straightforward.